Welcome to CampgroundViews.com 360 Virtual Tours. Take a look around, hit pause, or jump ahead. Find your site, see the area. Welcome to Travel Trailer RV Park or Trailer Campground in Grand Canyon National Park. This is a full hookup RV campground inside the National Park on the South Rim. You are looking at a 360 video tour. Due to the size of the campground, we're gonna go up and down the rows. All the rows come downhill opposite the direction we'll be traveling right now. This is row B, so if you're on row B, your sights will be on the left-hand side. At a site B8, B7 on the left. To use a 360 tour, simply grab the screen like you would with Google Street View and look around. If you want to take a closer look at any one site, simply hit pause. It'll stay at that site and you can look around. If it seems grainy or not high detail, you'll need to bump your quality settings on the YouTube video. In order to do that, hit the gear icon and increase your settings. This is row C, site 10, 11, on the right. As you'll see, all the sites in this campground face downhill and they're angled to the street so even large RVs can pull into and out of the sites. There's picnic tables and barbecue grills available. No wood fires are allowed in here. So once you've increased your quality setting, if you still have a problem where there's a wobbly thing or our logo is really obvious down at the bottom, that means you're on a browser that doesn't support 360 which basically means you're using Safari. Download Chrome and you have a better experience or open this in a mobile phone utilizing the YouTube app. That's really an awesome experience. It allows you to totally look around. We're on row D now. D18, D17, and then the restroom facility up here. The restroom has running waters, toilets, Campground is operated by a concessionaire for the National Park Service, so it's not an actual National Park campground. Your discount passes don't work here. Sites are currently $51 a night. We are now going down row E. This campground is generally full during the season. In fact, last night, this campground was completely full. So as you can see, there's a lot of transient, meaning people come in overnight and then move on the next day. And I think that's just the nature of the Grand Canyon. It's a place where people come, walk up to the canyon, go ooh, ah, and then let's go. That's a real disservice to the area because what's great about the Grand Canyon is there's a number of amazing hiking trails in the forest around here. Plus there's a multi-use paved path that is great for cycling and walking through the woods. You will regularly see elk in this campground. The elk were introduced here in the early 1900s from Yellowstone and they like this space here because there's usually water around and there's plenty of shrubbery for them to chew on. We are now going backwards up row F. If you're finding this video useful, that's because we put it together to be useful. At campgroundviews.com, we're trying to make it easier to camp and we believe that showing you the campgrounds is a lot better than trying to read 50 reviews interpreting their motivations, their habits, their behaviors, and trying to figure out if it is right for you. So if you like what we're doing, want to help us out and support us, first thing we ask you to do is tell everybody you know. Send out a link. Say, check out this site, campgroundviews.com. Next way you can help us is hitting our store, buying a shirt, hat, or other item. Show your colors. All those proceeds go back to funding the operations. We're now going down row G, that's G39, G40 right there, and G41. If you like this 360 tour and you want to see more, we have these for all of the National Park campgrounds west of the Mississippi River, every single one of them. Started shooting these over two years ago, and as you can tell with this one, our quality has increased as the technology has improved. We're utilizing the latest in technology to produce these videos. 
resulting in some amazing both graphics and visuals to allow you to enjoy your camping trip. So if you're going to Yellowstone next or the Rocky Mountain National Park or Yosemite or whatnot, this is your tool to go find those places that you're gonna stay at and enjoy them. We have over 26,000 pictures, uh, 3,000 videos, 16,000 parks listed, and thousands of reviews too. If you're at a campground that we don't have video or pictures of, take out your cell phone, snap a few photos, send it in. We're now on row H, H46 is on the left, and H45. As you can see, there's not a lot of variation between sites. The main thing are the end cap sites where you get a bigger yard, the sites near the restrooms. Row I, you're probably viewing this just to see what site you have because what's likely happened is you went to reserve a site and there are only four or five left and you're basically picking one. Now you can see what that one looks like. This is being captured in 2018. The park concessionaire is currently Delaware North. They haven't drastically improved the property, but we do notice that they are maintaining it quite well. And overall, Grand Canyon National Park is putting some serious money into improvements, uh, clearing out the forest around the area, improving roads, and improving overall facilities. I will note that this video was captured the week after Easter and this is traditionally Grand Canyon National Park's busiest season. And they make a big fuss, you'll hear it in the news about how crowded the national parks are, how crowded they are. I, I'm gonna honestly tell you that's a joke, it's not that crowded. Now we're on road J, J86, J85. The misconception many people have is that, oh, all those people are there, it's gonna be crowded. The reality is all those people will be in one spot. You venture a half mile away from that one spot and you can be all alone. Here's another restroom. The Trailer Village RV Park is a special treat for campers because unlike a lot of national parks, you can actually full hook up and camp here. Row K now, K67, 68. This park, this campground is open year round. I'm um, obviously busier during the peak seasons. You're situated at 7,000 feet of elevation. So it might get hot here, but the nights tend to be cool. And situated in this forest, very relaxing. You are within walking distance. You are within walking distance of the rim. It's a little bit of a hike. But a lot of folks tend to uh, a lot of folks will tend to uh, drive their cars over or ride the free shuttle. That's the real way to get around is the free shuttle. It has a bike rack on the front so you can th throw your bikes in the front and ride that free shuttle all around the park, avoiding trying to park and the crowds over in the parking lots. This is our final row within the trailer. Camper trailer RV park. We are now going backwards up row L, that is L84 and L83 here on the left. Nice thing about the L row is that there's nobody in front of you, so you get a little bit more privacy. Advanced reservations are highly recommended for this campground. Let them know you found them on campgroundviews.com. Hope you've enjoyed the tour. Leave a friendly comment, share a like, and subscribe to see more. This has been Mark Hepp, campgroundviews.com. Thank you, and goodbye. Hundreds more, available at campgroundviews.com.